Hi, I'm Lee Herbert, and you're not. But if you want to be, we now have a 15-week accelerator course that can get you there. Only available to the first 30 million callers, so get in quick. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can easily export just a small clip or section from your project or timeline. The reason why you may want to do this is you may want to send a small piece of audio to be fixed by a sound engineer, or you may want to send a small clip to After Effects or Motion. First, let me show you the clip that I want to edit, and then I'll show you how to do it. So let me play this back for you. Um, we're here in the heart of Jaffa, by the way, so it's like there's lots, lots of background and it's like... <laughs> So as you can hear, my wife was along with me for this interview with Danny, and as much as I love the sound of my wife laughing, I don't actually want the sound of my wife laughing in this particular interview. So I want to export just this small section and work with it in a third-party audio editing application. So how you can do this is if you just went to File, Share, Export File, you'll see here that it's going to export the entire 10 minutes and 21 seconds of this entire project. That's not what I want. So what I can do is I can select the range tool or just by clicking R and then just drag over the area that I want to export. I'm then going to go over to my export button on the right hand side of my screen this time. Select export file. You can see now that it's only sending out six seconds and five frames. And just to show you an example of what not to do, I'm going to export just the audio and the video for this and click on next and we'll just call this Danny clip and away it goes now watch what happens when I play this clip back we're here in the heart of Jaffa by the way so it's like there's lots, lots of background you'll notice that it's exported the connected clip and the music that I've got below the clip so even though I only selected my primary storyline it's exported everything so what you need to do to avoid this is you want to select the bits that you don't want to export and solo them out. So I'm just going to select that connected clip and click on V to solo it out. I'm then going to select the music and click on V to solo it out. Now I'm going to click on R to bring back my range selection tool. Select the bit that I want to export. Go to my export options. Select export file. This time I'm going to go across to settings and say I only want to export the audio. And by default, I send it out as a IFF, but you can send it out in whatever format you like. Export. I'll go audio only. And now when I play back that file. We're here in the heart of Jaffa, by the way, so it's like there's lots, lots of background <laughs> and it's like... We have the audio that we want to work with and we can put that into our third party application and try and fix it up or send it to a sound engineer who really knows what they're doing and hopefully they can fix it for us. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you want to learn more, please go to my blog, capturingpassion.com.